What's up guys, welcome back to another 5M tutorial. Today in this video, we're gonna be doing a install slash showcase script or video for Quasar Smartphone Pro. I really like this phone, it's very nice. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I already have everything we need here. You just need the prop pack and then the smartphone pack. Make sure you have all the dependencies, X sound, MH hacking, are the two that you probably won't have. You you should have MX hacking, but I'm not sure. I haven't built a new server in a while. But X sound you will definitely need. Um, the other ones are um, Ox MySQL, Oxlib, and Progress Bar, which you should already have because those are just base things in a server build. So okay, let's get into it. So I've already gone ahead and made a folder directory in my resources called QS Phone. And it's already in my server CFG. Just make sure you guys put it there. All right, so let's get this. Let's unpack this first. So all you got to do is drag this in. There we go. Just remember, if you guys need extra help, there's all these readmes here. So let's open this up. So first thing we need to do is we need to re um, edit our um, SQL our, our uh, database to make it compatible with the phone, which Kusar has done a great thing. If you go to the documentations, all you have to do is scroll down to the installation and there's already a whole thing there. Or if you need to, you could just go to here, go here, or I could don't need this anymore. Go here, you can see phone, system SQL. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that opened that many. From other scripts I was working on um, yeah it's I mean it's pretty simple it's just all that's already here so we'll go to QB we need to edit these so I already have it open my database open so we'll just go here go to queries replace that just run the query there we go that one's ran it doesn't really it's not very responsive then open this up paste that run the query no errors you can see it going Warnings don't really matter. So there we go. So, and make sure you delete your other ones or make a backup of them. But you don't need all these extra tables. But yeah, where is it at? You can tell if you're not very good at SQL, you can always know the tables, what they're called here. And you might have to refresh if it wants to refresh. Sometimes Heidi's weird. Sometimes it doesn't always refresh immediately. Sometimes you got to close it and reopen it. But I think it worked. Uber Rider. There we go. Here's that table. And you can see there's obviously no data in it. But there's that. Another thing we need to do is we need to change the player tables in our QB core file. So we got to go back, go to core. So mine might be list set up a little bit different than your guys's. So just keep that in mind. There we go need to go to core server player core core I'm really bad at doing this kind of stuff guys I'm sorry server and then player.lua <coughs> excuse me coughed and then we need to player tables player tables here we go and then all you got to do is copy the, the one that he has on their site and just paste it you can see changes. All right, so there's that. And the next thing we need to do is we need to add items. So the items is dependent on what inventory you're using. So I am a big fan of Ox inventory. I mean, you could use the Quasar inventory, which I should have used, but I forgot to install it. Um, but he has it there. Um, Oregon inventory, I think that's how it's called, QB, Ox, Core, and ESX, but obviously we're using Ox, so we'll just copy the item page, we'll just copy the items from the documentation he's provided, go to data, items, and I always put things at the top, there we go, and then it, you will know if there's duplicates because it will turn yellow, so as you can see, there's duplicate phone. So we'll find the next phone or we'll just go through it like this. Actually, I think it's down here. 
you can see I have a lot of duplicates. So, so I don't know why it's we'll do case sensitive phone 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 phone. There it is. Here's the phone. So this was for my NPW phone or NPWD phone. So I don't need that. So I just get rid of that there. Save and then we should be good. Crypto sticks, as you see, it's a duplicate. So you could go find yours and delete it. Do we have another one? I see another error or warning. I think we're good. Okay. So we're good. So then we can go edit the config of the script itself to make it how you want it to be. Oh, also, let's put these in here, put the dependencies, and then the prop. Let's see the props. Oh, I think this is already, I think the prop. Oh, okay. I think we'll just merge these two here. And it should replace what it needs to replace. I think one just uses a custom prop and then the other just uses uh, the GTA phone, I think. Because it did replace a lot of files is what I'm going to guess. So I don't know to be sure, but we'll just do this just in case. There we go. Thank God for a fast SSD. All right, so let's go into config. And we got our configs here. We're just going to open, we're just going to open this up. If you guys didn't know this, if you hold shift and uh, right click, you can just click open with code and you don't have to you don't have to click it like this and then click show more options. Um, so yeah, let's go to the configs, config. So here is your JavaScript cons config. All this stuff here, which I'm pretty sure is just more of um, functionality kind of things. And you see a lot of URLs, stuff like that, but we wanna go here. So here we go. We can go through and look. Luckily, he's left a lot of comments, so it's very easy. I'm big, big lover for comments for scripts because that's just what you should do as a person. You should leave comments if you're going to sell a script. If your script has no comments, then I don't know what you're doing. And if mine do doesn't, then I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I, obviously you can see all this stuff here, like. Um, phone number prefix, number digits, you can set a custom email thing, um, backups, all this extra stuff, use target. I'm a big target person, so obviously I'm going to set that to true. Changeable button, phone, ringtones, all that stuff. All this config stuff, very nice config file, honestly. A lot of, a lot of stuff for people to be able to do or change so yeah i mean you can see all this stuff here with all the comments and everything like i'm obviously not going to go through and read all the comments but they're all there the next thing you can do is your phone videos um so usually the best one to use right now is 5m manage um i think it's the i think the project sloth made that because it's free let me make sure before on my Discord and look. No, no, never mind. Never mind. 5M Manage was not made by them. 5M, 5M Er was made by them. There's two different ones. Um, but I think if we look up photo, um, E maybe, or maybe functions. All right, so I found where you need to put your API for 5M Manage. It's just in server custom webhook, and it's in this webhook.lua file. And you just throw your API into here and then it should work. I'm not going to because I don't want to give away my API key, but obviously just put it into there and it will work. All right, so that should be everything, I think. Um, so yeah, let's get this, get my server booted up and let's test it out. All right, so I'm now on my server and if I, if you see I have my phone, if I press two, that pulls it up and it will load. For some reason, uh, the, the prop isn't showing up in my hand. I think that's something wrong with my server though. Cause I have a really, I have a very heavily modified server. So 
that could be the problem. But obviously, you can go through and start the configuration. Ooh, face ID, I like that. My password, just do one, two, three, four. Yes, the dark, dark mode is the best mode. And yeah, you can go through all the phone stuff. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this phone. It's a very popular script because it's very well built. Um, but, I mean, there's all the apps and everything, which I really enjoy. There's the crypto. Um, and then you can, as you can hook, you saw earlier, you can hook the crypto up to an API that will have real life values, which is really cool. Um, you got all your apps, which is this is a cool app store. I actually have never seen this. Uh, I've never used this phone before. I know it's popular from um, my buddies that told me about it, but I've never used this phone before. It's always another phone. I forget the name, but you got this cool install thing, which is a cool, um, cool. What we call in the game development industry, we call that game feel. It's a cool game feel. It really makes it feel like a, a real phone, but all these apps, you don't really need to add your own apps and it comes with the banking and everything. Shows all my money. My name's dog, man, but yeah. That's the phone. It's a really nice phone. Safari and everything. Um, you know, all the all the apps you could ever want. You know, it's very nice. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Wait for more content. If you want the link to this script, the phone, it is in the description at the top of the description. But yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.